Grief filled the house of the late Aldo Otokut as they looked at his lifeless body under a jackfruit tree on Friday. Now, according to unconfirmed reports, depression from his work led the Gulo District Education Office and Church of Administration and Sports to commit suicide. I really feel very sad because we couldn't, I, my, my, I, can't, I really couldn't believe that can happen to Otto Aldo as a sport officer with the knowledge, the brain, the earth, you know? So really, I feel so bad. When I heard about it, I came, but unfortunately, I found that the what body wasn't there, was already taken. But really, I'm not happy about it. Yeah, even I'm not sure if truly he does it on his own. He was a kind man. And he has taken long in his service. I knew him when, when I was still in primary, because I studied in good public, good public school. Mm -hmm. Somebody was just. No, he was generally friendly. He was a social man, generally. Uh, only when it is the same with us all, when somebody annoys him, that's when he could also, if he felt it was right to be. Also, responding to the disappointment, he could do it. But it was not generally violent to anybody, unless you are knowing. Okay. The body was retrieved by police and taken for post-mortem at Gulu Regional Referral Hospital and according to the district CID officer Grace Pade, all early signs indicated suicide. I received the, the report of suicide. Information that the, the district sports officer, Guru, that he committed suicide at his home. Now we came, responded to the information, to visit the scene, and he found, it, that he found the body down. A, a piece of rope, synthetic rope still up, and another piece in the, around the neck, his neck. And he, he saw some signs of Pangulation suicide. However, investigations are to be conducted to ascertain what could have caused a nobleman to end his life. A postmortem report conducted on Saturday by Dr. Francis Oredo at Gul Region Referral Hospital Mortuary confirmed that Otto died by hanging. His windpipe in the neck was torn and broken. A responsible person, there must be a serious cause for that. Is it internal? Is it domestic? Is it office? So that's the question which we are, we are, we are. If we, we maybe we shall confirm that it's suicide. Sign is of suicide. Yes. Some are seen. But what is the problem? What is the cause? According to the information gathered, the deceased returned home at 6 p.m. on Friday evening and had his supper at 8 p.m. Surprisingly, the CID officer says the family members did not hear him get out of the house. Despite the circumstances surrounding his demise, Aldo Otto Court is described as a kind man who was committed to his work. 
He has been instrumental in organizing and forcing sports activities in Gulu district since the early 90s. He graduated from Ndeja University with a Bachelor in Education in 2009, and by the time of his death, he had been appointed the president of the Uganda Primary Schools Sports Association, as well as a member of the Federation of the East African Secondary Schools Association. Otto was aged 55 and left with only five years to his official retirement from government. Civil service had served as a sports administrator for nearly 18 years since 2019. He served and rose through various sports administrative positions from Game Master, Golo Municipal Sports Officer, District Sports Officer, Education Officer, till the position of the Uganda National Primary School Sports Association Chairman up to the time of his death. He is survived by two wives and an unconfirmed number of children. He will be buried on Thursday. This report was compiled by Joseph Omagol for New Vision TV.